All right, just wanted to make this part real quick, letting you guys know that this gore plays that you're about to watch was recorded a few days ago. That's why I mentioned that it's like a day before Halloween as of recording that, and it was supposed to go up on Halloween, I believe, or like the day before Halloween or whatever. Um, the reason why I did it is because uh, there was a problem with the recording. I had to edit it and stuff, and I just never got around to it, so it's uh, almost a week later. <laughs> so, not really, but almost. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed the gore plays anyway, and bye! Alright people, what's up everyone and welcome to another Gore Plays for the month of Gore 2018 and this time I'm playing a game called The One We Found, which is a survival horror game, it doesn't come out until tomorrow on Xbox One uh, and I got this from Keymailer, so thank you to the publishers for sending me this uh, game to play, especially for this month, perfect timing of course, uh, so yeah, I mean look at this game, it starts off with a warning. So, I'm already scared. It says at the end, player discretion is, is advised. Jesus. Whew. Okay, let's read this. In the early 1980s, engineer Victor Tandy made a hor Tandy. Tandy made a horrifying discovery. He discovered the sound of true fear. During your playthrough, you will be exposed to this very sound. You will not hear it, but you will feel it. Strongly recommended to wear headphones to experience the game as intended. Who? Uh, gee. all right. Um, should I wear headphones? I don't really want to, but I guess I should. I don't know. All right, I'll I'll wear headphones. Hold on, just give me one second. All right, I got them right here somewhere. Hold on, let me go. All right, you guys will still hear the audio the same way. I'll just hear it differently. Um, where the hell are my headphones? Here they are. All right. Here we go, guys. I could cut this out, but I'm not. <sighs> All right. Let's do it, I guess. <laughs> All right. I'm putting them on. All right. I'm going to plug it in now. Should still hear it through the TV. So. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's play. All right. I'm very scared. Fuck this game. <sighs> Loading scene. Loading scene. What the? F what are you? What? Oh wait, hold on. Ooh, graphically doesn't look so amazing. Please adjust the brightness settings to your liking. Likings. The brightness is recommended to be left alone for optimal. All right, now I'll just leave it. I'll leave it. It's fine. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, oh, okay. I'm stupid. Recommended. All right, now. Whew! Stop it! Stop! Stop! Whew! Is that the sound of scare? Is that the sound of horror that the freaking beginning told me about? Okay, you need to stop it. You need to stop it right now. Stop! Shut up! <laughs> All right, hold on. What? All right, one thing I want to say right here. The menu is really amateur. Shut the fuck up. Prologue. Yeah, it has the scratchy font, too. That's always scary. Okay. Really? Seriously? <laughs> For real. It needs to stop. <laughs> I can see why they would want me to uh, wear headphones, but... It just sounds like all like a haunted house right now. It's <laughs> just like, ooh. Jesus, this takes a long time to load. Stop it. Just stop. What are you doing? <laughs> Gee, oh, there we go. All right, now it's a hauling ass. Here we go. That first like 15% was, a, oh my lord. Welcome to the one we found. Please use the right stick. Use the right and left stick to navigate the world. Okay. Direct, direct. Yes. How do I use it? There you go. Alright. You got me. You need to stop. Many items can be interacted with throughout your experience. Follow on screen prompts to interact with these items. Okay. Rusty gate. X. There you go. Alright, so we're at a mental asylum. Okay. So that's kind of cool. This game looks... 
like booty, but uh, it's fine. It's an indie developed game. I can't really give it too much shit as long as it's good. I mean, Resident Evil 2 looks like booty nowadays, and that game's still pretty creepy. So, alright. Oh, there's a wrong button. Okay. Jesus. Stop it. Challenges. There are many obstacles that you will encounter during your time in Whisper Wood. You must use your perception and acuity to solve these challenges in order to progress. Okay. You need the correct key. I didn't even know I had a key, period. Okay. Can I just get one of the, uh, They're just JPEGs. They're not real. I'm going to go into the, into the mist. Okay, has like a, a classic spooky feel to it. I mean, you know, I hear crows, I see mist, you know, long trees, dark everywhere, you know, class, classic. Am I losing light or something? Or... It's kind of creepy branches. Don't like... I mean, I would like to say the sound... Uh... Many items required, acquired to aid you during your experience once... Uh... Once obtained, these items are stored within your inventory. Press the view button. Alright. I don't like that the menu stays there for so long, too. Alright, so was that a hint at... Yeah, there's, there was something on there. Come on, I can't... Alright, the... Can I lower... Okay, you can only use the analog stick to move shit in the menu, I guess. Um, V-Sync. <laughs> That's funny. I'll just leave it. I don't really give a shit. Um... Yeah, it's lower just a little bit. It's a little too, a little too much right now. Did I turn my light off? Are you serious? How do I? What? What the fuck happened? How do I turn it back on? Where's my light? I just went into the menu. What the? What in the? What the fuck? Okay, how do I turn it on? Oh, there you go. Down. What, where, what is going on? What, I turned it back on again. Where the fuck is my flashlight? What? Oh, there you go. Jesus. Sorry. I'm not having a good time right now. <laughs> Spooky. Oh, I'm crouching. I just realized that. How do I uncrouch? Really? Left on the D-pad is crouch. Okay. Hopefully it's not one of those sneaky games. Because that will definitely never happen. Freaking left on the D-pad. Yeah, this doesn't look fucking scary at all. Something base door, would that say? I could just go through the fucking window. Look at this. Oh, look. Powerful on the Enigma Lith base door. There seems to be a main connection. Fairly, I have a suspicion that there's evil access bullshit. Yada yada. Scare shit. All right. No firearm equipped. All right. So it's good to know. I mean, I already knew it was a survival horror game, so I knew there was going to be action. But uh, it's good to know that. Uh, it's good to know that I will have a gun in this game. <laughs> Cause I'm so sick of these survival horror games. They're just like, hide! Fuck it. Just hide. I mean, don't get me wrong. They scare me. But I do like that it has the flashlight thing going on. Like from Outlast and shit where, with your camera. You have to get batteries. Why is it randomly turn off? Okay. There you go. Do what, I have to climb up with this stuff? Or is it like... Hey. <laughs> Oops. Actually, that's good. Now I could go through that door and get scared. <sighs> Coming down. Turn it the fuck back on. Why do you have to keep turning it off once I jump or... I mean, I get the climb part. Save the battery, but when I jump down, I mean, do you really need to turn it off? I'll be down on the ground in half a second. Just spook me out. Please tell me there's a gun in here. Above is the name of the motor schematics. Oh, this is bullshit. I just realized that the game doesn't pause when I do this. Can I hide in here? No, you can look in at the... It's gonna be a scary. Just do it. Okay. I 
I don't like this. There's gonna be something spooky in one of these lockers. Do it! Do it! Okay. You just gotta yell at it. That's how you become not scared. There was a battery on here. You just gotta yell at it. There you go. What? Why did I put it back down? Why the fuck did I... Take. Okay. Stop shutting the flashlight off. What the fuck? I took a key? Nothing. There you go. I don't even reload the battery. I'm assuming it just keeps going. <sighs> Might solve a mystery. What the hell? That looks suspicious. Or rewrite history. DuckTales. Ooh. Anyway, they're out there making ducktails. Woo! Tell them they're in bad and good. A ponytails or cottontails, but ducktails. Woo! Okay, I guess I have to go back to that door. Something's obviously gonna get me now. Alright, it's been long enough. You need to spook me out. Right now, the Scooby-Doo environment is, uh, it's still scaring me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm assuming this is, this is the right key. Gah! There you go, we got you. Oh, that was me. Please wait, okay. All right, here we go. A transient axemic attack TI hey, causes you to lose consciousness caused by an infection of some kind. What? What? I opened the door and I I got I got a I got an infection. What the fuck? What are you talking about? Yeah, the, the organ trail. What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> Something happened. I guess I died. I don't know. Alright. Damn, that takes a long time to load these scenes, eh? <clears throat> Alright, so far it's, uh... It's a little basic, but, yeah. It might be good. Who knows? I can't really, uh, judge it too much right now. I mean, I guess I could, but I'm not going to, because I don't want to be a dick. Oh my god, there you go. See, it hauls his ass after that. First 20% is just loading all the, the scare noises. Oh god. That's just a JPEG. What? Did, did my controls go back to being really... Yes, I want to take it. No, I want to leave it the fuck here. Take that too. Yeah, what? Hold on. Okay, they just feel like they're way... Okay, it didn't, but it feels like it did. Like, now they feel really sensitive again. Frame rate's not great. I can't tell actually if that's the frame rate or... It's just the, uh... The lights making it look like it's a frame rate. I think it's the frame right. That's it. Okay. It's in this box. You could be broken with something? How about my foot? Oh good, he's gonna jump out at me. Just do it. Oh, he's still alive. If I turn this off, you'll probably... Oh, I got, I got an achievement. I got, I got a real achievement. Alright, he didn't deserve it. Alright, so there's numbers written on the walls and stuff. Two, two, three, two. Another two. What that has to do with anything? I don't fucking know. Maybe there's a door somewhere I have to put that in. So, 
What's up? Turn your shit off. It doesn't matter. Like It like turns back on anyway, it seems like. If I turn it off, watch. Oh, maybe that was me turning it back on. Oh, I see. Before I even before I even press the X button, it feels like it just turns back on. Like, watch. I press. Okay. Like, immediately. It doesn't even, like, start back up or anything. I don't know. I feel like it should take a little while to warm up, maybe. Oh, that's weird. Interact. I can pick this up. Alright, then pick it the fuck up. Alright. I guess not. Next time, I guess. Don't know. Didn't even, didn't even close the door. Ew. What in the fuck is going on here? Oh, these bodies are gonna come to life for some shit. What the fuck was that? Hey! What is going on? Two two? More twos? Ah, oh, fuck! What? What? The fuck? Get off me! What are you doing? Hey, get away from me! Hey! What are you doing? Stop that! Hey! Stop it! Stop it! That's bad! That's a bad little ghoul! Get away from me! Hey! Stop it! Go away! Fuck off! No! Stop it! Stop coming after me! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! No! Get away! Go away! Stop! Stop it! You fucking golem walk! Get the fuck out of here! What are you doing? Go away! Fuck off! Fuck off! Alright. What are you gonna do if you grab me? Nothing. He, he doesn't do anything. Alright, I'll just continue then. <laughs> I have this asshole behind me. Oh, there he is again! Oh, this time... Can he do something? Oh, there you go. Now he does something. Oh, he hits me once and I die. Huh. Yeah. Game over. Will you return to Whisper Wood and discover its secrets? Hmm. Alright. Uh... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't want to shit on it, but... Let's do survival mode. How about that? That might be fun. Confined delirium? What is these? Are these difficulties? Is delirium the easiest one? Or descent... Delirium, confined, descent. They all sound... Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't care. Maybe they're... There's... I don't know. Let's do it. Maybe I get a gun and see how the gun play is. I'm assuming survival, if there is guns, they're going to give you a gun, right? Don't only assume. <laughs> Let's try it. Might be good. Who knows? Maybe the gun play is like, 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 like crazy good. I'm already this noise. I don't know why I have the headphones still. They, they don't really add any atmosphere, so I'm going to just take those off. If anything, they just make my, my ears hot. Oh, there you go. Gun. I can't see. I know there's a guy coming at me. Cannot see a fucking thing. So it's gonna be like Doom? Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be like Doom where I have to swap. Where's the fucking flashlight? Oh, the shotgun. Oh, it's, no, it's gonna be like, this is gonna be like a... I'm, talk, I'm sorry, I was talking about Doom 3. I kept saying Doom. What? How dare you. Can't go in there. Okay, I mean, this could be okay, I guess. Is that a person? No, that's a... Oh, these are people. Hey, what's up, guys? I can't shoot. Oh, are you serious? RB is to shoot. Uh, how you reload? Oh, uh, B, of course. Uh, I guess Red Dead is, is B to reload, so I can't really talk shit. Can I aim down sights? so I can lean? 
I mean, I, I, I'll say this. The shooting isn't that bad. Actually, the sound is pretty good. And there's some impact to it. So, you know what? I'll say this. The gunplay is not too bad. So, I can see this maybe being a, a fun survival horror game if I uh, if I got further. I just... Uh, there's some things here that... Oh, there we go. There we go. It's down. But I thought... Okay, so you don't need to have the... Uh, why am I crouching? Someone near me? Oh, there's zombies. Hey, man. Uh, Alright, guys. What's going on? Ah, uh, well. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo in both? Oh, shit. Guess I'm fucked. Oh yeah, I'm totally fucked. Do I have like a melee weapon? Get back! Get back off! Go fuck off! Here, here. Jukes, 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 jukes. Oh, jukes! Easy. Fuck out of here. No. Is there no other gun I could buy right now? So wait, if I'm out of ammo, then what do I do? Do I have a melee? I'll just press all the buttons. So, I can't buy the shotgun because I don't have enough. Well, what else if I turn these on? The fuck did I, I turn it on? Shit blew up. I didn't play a blow up noise. Well, looks like I I died today. Cause, unless maybe I got more enough points now, maybe? I think I looked before. I mean, I, I think I tried already, though. Let's see. You need, uh, how much? 25,000? In what fucking world am I gonna get 25,000 right before I fucking lose all my ammo? Do I, do, I, maybe I can do something else. There has to be something else I can do here. I'm just, I just don't know yet. Fuck it. Oh, there you go. Iron Sights is LB. I should've figured that. It fucking fires RB. Alright, well, I'll just let them kill me. Alright, let's go. Recharge flashlight. I died. <laughs> you died. Game over. Go back to fucking start. Alright, so I think that's about it for the one we found. Disappointing. I, I When I saw this on Keymailer, and I even looked at some of the screenshots, it looked, it looked rough, but... Okay, alright, stop. Uh, it looked like it could be something interesting. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know how much this is going for on the store. Cause I can't look now. I, I could look it up, though. But uh, if, it, if it's like, I don't know, if it's like $5, then I, I, I'd I be down with that. Maybe, maybe like $8. I'd be like, all right, try it. The gunplay seems like it's okay. And, and there's not too many survival horror games anymore. So, you know, I mean, you have Resident Evil coming up soon. But besides that, there really aren't too many survival horror games like this where, you, you know, you're not just hiding, you know. Uh, I guess Evil Within, but that came out last year, and also that seemed like it, it was going way more the action route. I don't know, and also Stealth too, which is shit. I'm getting t tired of. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> so sick. You know what this reminds me of? That uh, that DS game, the horror DS game that came out. What was it called? Delirium or something like that? No, it wasn't called Delirium. Uh, it was called something. I forgot what it is. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. You can probably look it up. Just look up Horror DS Game and you might find it. But uh, it reminds me of that. It, that was set in like a, I think a prison. Or at least the second one was set in a prison. Um, this one's set in a mental asylum, which is similar, I guess. Um, so, I don't know. It also has like a suffering vibe to it with the uh, prison and stuff like that i mean again it's not prison but it has a similar kind of feel to it i guess um but anyway there you go that's it it's a mental asylum right i'm assuming it is uh, i don't know i'm just kind of assuming so anyway there you go thank you and until next time of course goodbye